Hey guys, and welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, cross watchers. For those of you who are brand new to the channel, glad you landed here. Comment in the comments. Say hi. Let me know where you're from. Glad to have you join us. I'm going to pull from Soul, Hel Soul Helper Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what your message is today. Ooh. To conform is to die inside. Be brave and be yourself. So, yeah, find your little inner chameleon, Taurus. Um, I kind of like this for you, especially if you're here as the Taurian. Um, very, Taurians are very steadfast, very um, predictable. Of course, I'm stereotyping broadly, um, but I like the, you know, the reject conformity at this time. Your soul helper is telling you to be brave, to be yourself. Let your freak flag fly. Okay, what I'm going to do is pull the spread, give you my general impressions. I'll go through it. Uh, we're looking at your person, your energy, the connection, past, present, future, all in one big reading. Um, I'll clarify for what speaks to me. Um, and here we go. Overall energy of the reading, Ten of Cups. So we're focused on happiness. Um, yes, okay, we're focusing on some bliss, some measure of emotional contentment. Wow. Um, beautiful. So this first uh, column here is the past. And your person coming in with the Ten of Swords and their present energy around the Hierophant feels to me like this is somebody who has just experienced something very painful, maybe in the not too distant past. And so it's sort of impacting um, their energies around maybe conventional committed relationships or um, sometimes the Hierophant is talking about, um, you know, the vows we make and take, our obligations, our responsibilities, being a person of our word, et cetera, et cetera. So it, it could be around that too. Um, but in the near future, there's a three of wands. There's something that this person will be calling toward them, anticipating, even manifesting. So I'm going to have to get a little bit more detail on the Ten of Swords aspect of things. But for you in the past, there you are. Divine feminine energy possibly there to help this person pick up the pieces. I'm not sure that the Ten of Swords was between you. I have a feeling it was experienced by this person on their own as I'm seeing your relationship as sort of growing out of being something new um, at the time, right? So the Page of Wands, pages are, uh, you know, a little lower on the totem pole of evolution, of being evolved. It's fresh start energy. It is um, optimism, um, a little bit of passion, but the kind that comes from like sparks flying. So it's very possible that I'm talking to those of you who are dealing with somebody um, that you met when they were on hard times, that you might have brought lighten the load for them a little bit, uh, brought them some optimism with your open, receptive, divine, feminine energy. Okay, that's the past. So when I'm looking at the present for you at this moment, there are things you don't understand or you can't see, and maybe it's you're struggling a little bit to trust your, your intuition here because there may not be much communication. Um, I'm not seeing separation fully, but I, I feel when I'm looking sort of at the dynamic, them, you, and the connection, it could be that there's not a lot of solid communication around um, topics of committed relationships. Um, maybe this person just came through a bad divorce or something, let's say, is very possible here. So there's a little bit of the unknowingness for you that might be um, uh, leading to you feeling some insecurity. 
Uh, and for the near future, though, I still feel that your energy, Queen of Cups, very empathic, very sensitive and compassionate. As this person is calling something to them, and there you find the cooperation. So there's some energy in the near future that feels like you'll be um, more on the same page and that they're more open to receiving something positive coming their way. That's the general. Let's get the details. Ten of Cups. Page of Swords, the moon again, Empress again. So, so right here, so like you're really curious. Like this could be my, this could be something really powerful, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't sort of get a good read on this person coming from again divine feminine energy. I do feel this is mostly coming from you, but obviously, if you if your person has just been through something really painful um, with a lot of finality wrapped around it uh, they may be inspired for that happiness that they you know that has eluded them so i just think they're kind of mums the word is sort of how it's coming through like they don't want to talk about it so let's see the ten of swords to the hierophant for your person Yes, this person, uh, I feel, um, just came through, right? There's a painful ending uh, around a marriage. I feel like this person is ending or just recently ended a marriage. But what's on their mind is their connection to you. You're coming through as the Nine of Pentacles, single person. So I, I, I'm seeing this as um, almost like I said in the beginning that this is somebody you likely uh, began your relationship or, or um, the depth of the feelings that you have for each other grew out of some kind of painful experience for this person. Uh, you may have even been put on their path at that point for that purpose. For some of you, that may be the exact um the exact reason why why you met i know that sounds a little funky but i'm trying to find a better more grounded way to say it for my taurians i'm gonna look at the hierophant to the three of wands let's keep going with this person oh beautiful they want you, you, yes, see, this is what I was trying to say. So let me go there. This may take time, right? Whole reading, energy, ten of, ten of cups. We've got themes here around possibly a life with you, the beginnings of some form of life partnership. But I'm seeing that this person just came out of, of, of a painful ending of something more committed to someone else. But when I start to put it together for now and their vision for the future, as they heal, Four of Swords, what they're calling to them is the past life soulmate, is you. That's what's being manifested here. So when I say you were put on each other, you were put on this person's path, you were put on their path at a specific point in time for the specific purpose of having them be able to contemplate happiness in another form, in another way that feels more spiritual. It feels way more evolved. Let's carry on, shall we? So um, right now you're sitting with the moon and we've got the queen of cups in the near future. Chariot, star, queen of wands. 
Well, I love here that you're going to kind of keep your your inner, you know, fire starter energy kind of under wraps a little bit. This does feel like you are definitely um, somebody who is multidimensional. Um, you probably have a lot more fire and passion flowing through you than what I see on the surface. You're coming through with divine feminine energy and the queen of cups, the very empathic side of you. But deep down, you've got desires and and that's not what you're afraid of. I think like it's it's going to be a little bit challenging to trust your intuition about how things will move forward, right? Where will the progress be, be made? But there's hope for progress. And that's coming from that, you know, full on fire embodied passion of the queen of wands, you know, she kind of like accepts no substitutions. I know who I want, who I am, what I want, and I shall have it. Um, but it's a, it's a process of working with your, trusting your intuition uh, around the blurry edges of the corners so where you can't see what's on the other side. Okay, so I do feel that you're going to stay pretty optimistic um, and maybe guide the progress forward from, um, from points within your um, unconscious realm, meaning it'll just be flowing through your veins. You know, it'll just be like you'll, you'll have instinctual things to say, the right thing at the right time, the right action at the right moment. I'm feeling her as like an internal guide. Um, and it will help you stay empathic, stay in that realm of open heartedness, but still with your agenda to get, you know, to get things moving. I like it. Okay, so when we look at the connection, High Priestess to the Three of Pentacles, I'm going to get another card on the three of pentacles, please. There's the three of pentacles here. Right? Ah. Knight of wands. Definitely some passion. So you will find that you are on the same page um, with your chemistry, with your passion, with your feelings. This person may be a little MIA in a way. Um, if there is separation, they're coming back. Um, so I wouldn't, you know, let's not worry about that. I feel like if this person's MIA right now, if they've, maybe they've pulled themselves back a bit or maybe they're not communicating a lot. I'm not seeing anything harmful between the two of you. No fights, no disagreements. But maybe this person's just really nursing some wounds and they're sort of not able to communicate it. And that's why we've got them with the Four of Swords and all the beautiful energy of your connection surrounding them through that phase of healing. Um, and yes, the beautiful connection. A possible, this feels to me like a newer love, like new love uh, is growing. Oof, death card underneath. This person's going to have to leave something behind. I feel like uh, the death card is, is connected more to the Ten of Swords from the past, and it's sort of the final release. The final release of the heartache, of the heartbreak, of whatever it is that they have endured, and they get through it because of this love, this gift from spirit. And then if they're sort of, if they've kind of been a little bit hard to to access, to communicate with, they'll be coming back around with a much more, um, in, you know, uh, cooperative, co-creative energy. Um, I love that we have the three of wands for them and the three of pentacles in the connection. It suggests um, definitely some energy that feels uh, like we're moving into something that we're beginning to create a foundation. Uh, they want something that they can uh, feel good about, that they can heal from, that they can envision a future around. And that takes time, a little bit of time, not a lot, a little bit. 
Okay, so that's what I have here for now, but um, let me give you the astrology before I do. I am gonna take this to the extended and we're gonna see this person uh, really, how do they feel about you? What, what's happening behind the scenes that you're unaware of here? Um, their intentions, etc. So, you know, uh, in case it's true that you're not getting anything out of them. It might not be that you're fully separated. It might be that you're at some distance or something, or there's just not a lot of clear communication or maybe very little. Um, so let me help you see what that's about. That's what we're going to do in the extended. The links are below. You'll see a number one, a number two, a number three. There are three ways to get extended readings. Please make sure you read what it is you're about to purchase. Also, if this has been interesting, enlightening, confirmational, insightful, helpful, please do subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. It is the only way I can stay here is if my videos get seen and the only way that youtube knows i'm here is if they see activity subscribers views engagement comments so let's keep that rolling forward okay that is what i have so let's give you the astrology page of swords is gemini libra aquarius the moon is here twice that is pisces energy the empress is here twice um venus taurus and libra so we definitely have a Taurus reading here. King of Pentacles is Taurus. The Nine of Pentacles is some Virgo energy. Hierophant, wait for it, Taurus. <laughs> so especially if you're here as a cross watcher, you're getting a lot about your person. Um, let's see, we have the Chariot is Cancerian energy. The Star is Aquarius. Queen of Wands is um, Aries. We have the Queen of Cups is more cancerian energy page of wands aries leo sagittarius high priestess is the moon i used to say she was pisces i have been corrected she is the moon uh the death card is um scorpio and our knight of wands to close out the reading is sagittarian energy that's what i have for you right now i'm gonna head to the extended and um I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.